Hey, what's up guys? It's me here back with a video and today we're taking a look at how to make a really nice glass looking banner and it have that origami design into it. So we are going to be using Adobe Photoshop Touch as always. If you guys don't have this app, the link is in the description below. You can download this for free. The project size of this video is 1280 per 720. So now you need to make sure that you are on the Pelagen selection tool and after that's done you need to make sure that you show the pointer like this so the pointer is going to help you to create today's design so uh, first thing you need to create or uh, draw a, a random shape so how you can do is going ahead and just you know uh, it, it, everything is actually depends on your creativity so just put a random shape I think that looks cool so for the next step you need to make sure that you fill uh, this uh, selection with a brand new color so I think I'm going with the red color for the purpose of this video if you guys would like to make it green or uh, like I don't know uh, yellow just go ahead and do it so for the next step you need to make sure that you are on the market selection tool and hit on that mod until it says minus just like this and then go ahead and select the bottom area of our design that we just created and uh, once that's done you need to go ahead and fill the top area with a darker color than the red so i'm going to go with a darker color just like that and that creates a sort of really nice effect as you can see and there we have it so for the next step we need to create our very own glass so to do that first thing create a brand new empty layer just like this and go ahead to the palette selection tool again and you need to make sure that you create a brand new uh, design so this is going, going to be our glass so again this all depends on your creativity so I'm going to just create the design just like this and I guess that looks pretty nice just like that so I'm going to connect it and now you need to fill this selection with the white color so the white color is right over here and there we go so once that's done you need to go ahead and duplicate this layer just like this and select the bottom one and once that's done you need to go ahead and deselect it and add a drop shadow effect into it so uh, once that's done guys you need to make sure that you are on the wand tool or the magic wand tool like so and go ahead and select the white color just like this and go ahead and clear it so once you clear it guys all you can do is you can go ahead and go and select the top layer so now it's the time to create our glass so to do that you need to make sure that you are on the market selection tool or the rectangle selection tool and just select the top area of our design that we just created and hit on that end sign once you've done that and hit on this fade uh, option so once you do that all you can do is you can go ahead and mess around with it until you will have something that looks like a glass so you see those two points go ahead and transform them around the screen until you will have a glass looking shape just like this and there we have it so all you can do now is you can go ahead and just duplicate the exact same size, but on the bottom area just like and let me go ahead and just select the bottom area and then I'm going to be able to make it or turn it into glass yeah that sounds pretty cool and now to make this glass looks more real all you can do is gonna go ahead and make sure that you are on the magic wand tool and once you're on the magic wand tool you need to just go ahead and select your very own glass like this um oops let me go ahead and just fix this and then hit on the end sign and i think there's an option called lens and flare there we go this one right over here so as you can see this gives us kind of a sun shine uh, effect which is really awesome so this is like a sunlight sorry effect so you know go ahead and just mess around with your uh, with the, the the position of it so i think that looks uh, i mean i think that looks really cool for me and there we have it so once all of that done you need to add your very own text into the project so if you want to put it uh, below your very own glass it's all up to you i think below the glass it looks more cooler as you can see I, if i transform it above the glass it's kind of ugly for me but it, it is my opinion so in my opinion it looks more cooler below the glass like this and now it's the time to add a background so for the background you can just go ahead and create a brand new empty layer and put it below everything just like this and you can mess around with the gradient effect until you will have a really nice background but if you guys would like to go to google images there is a ton of uh, backgrounds in there you can just import one into your project and it's going to still looks cool but i think with the gradient it looks more natural in my opinion so that's about for this video guys i really hope you guys loved this video if you did please go ahead and just drop a like down below i will appreciate it and also guys check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you enjoy me already and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video peace out you know